Peter Haddock and I'm here with Richard Brooks. Yes, they've rolled out the big guns, engineering director, no less, for JCB here. And this is one of my favourite topics, as everyone knows, electric machines. Richard, there is so much going on with this brand new machine. Let's look at the engine. Oh, there is no engine, folks. Great, what we've got here, we've replaced the diesel engine and we've replaced it with a lithium ion battery. What does that mean? It's quick, it's clean, and it's easy to charge. And most of all, important to our customers, it's zero emissions. There's no CO2 at point of use. This, folks, is the key to the power that is inside this machine. And look, I've brought my own cable today, and this is the cable that goes into here that makes the magic happen. Now, this has got how many hours? This machine can, to, can do a full shift worth of work for our customers. And we, we know that, that that's true. We've studied machines in the low emission zone in London, 53 machines over several weeks, looked at the customer profile and duty. And, and what, what we know is from that, the 24 kilowatt hour battery can satisfy 95% of our customer base for full shift working on a single charge. And what's interesting about that, folks, is Richard's saying we've taken a look at it. Actually, technology has taken a look at it because it's JCB's live link inside this machine been recording all of that data so you can use all of the uh, data and everything to, to work out how people are using this machine. Now, Richard, the one of the things you told me earlier, which I loved, is like you said, Peter, we've taken that data. We haven't just gone as a tick box and we've looked at how people use the machine. And then you've made the machine for that usage, haven't you? Absolutely. We've, look, we've looked at our, the customer behaviour, how intensively the machine's being used, what they're doing with the machine, what happens to the machine through the working day. And all of that, we've looked at the data, optimised it, and we've used that to develop the most optimum system. So battery size, drive motor, hydraulic motor have all been sized to give optimum performance around the work that our customers do every day. Low emission zones, yes London, tick box. Birmingham's coming online in June. We've also got applications like tunnelling. We've got applications like you'd need an electric inside a warehouse, for example. And you've got lots of other different applications like waste, where you can literally plug in not just this cable, but you can plug in some of the other charging units, can't you, Richard? What are the charging options for it? So we've got, we've got three charging options. We've got the onboard charger, which can charge off a domestic electricity supply, 16 amp. We've got the JCB Rapid Charger, which is a three-phase charger, that can charge this machine in under 90 minutes from 10% charge up to 100% charge. And if you're working in remote areas without a power supply, you can take the JCB Power Cube and you can use the yellow charge lead here and you can use that to charge your machine again overnight or in an eight-hour time period. Richard, this is all inside here is where the magic happens, isn't it? So, so underneath, behind the front axle, we've got the 17 kilowatt drive motor. That motor is supplied with power from the motor controller, and, and the power from the motor controller is AC, and that motor controller has converted the battery's DC electric supply into AC, and then it feeds the drive motor. That drive motor is connected to the super durable JCB axles through a drop box and prop shafts uh, and dur durability is exactly the same as our diesel product. And that's really important folks because there's no compromises here. What we always think about with electric is like oh it's not going to last the shift. We've proven that with the technology and the batteries developed for that. Oh you, it's difficult to charge up. No we know that's a simple process but has it got the power and has it got the performance? So Richard, I'm going to ask you to get inside the machine where the magic happens because inside this machine, folks, there are a few key changes that you've mentioned to me earlier, Richard. Now, you know, with a diesel engine, obviously, you're going to turn it on, you're going to hear a lot of noise. So can we turn on the machine? There's a beep. Are we ready to go? To life. It's coming to life. You Fish see, that's it. No, no noise, no anything. But what's really important about this is 
you know, talk about when you're operating it. The lever there is, is, a, is to obviously put power and drive, isn't it? So exactly the same controls as a diesel machine. The key difference is this is no longer an engine speed control pedal. It's not a throttle pedal. It is a drive pedal. The, f the further down you press the pedal, the faster you go. When you take your foot off the drive pedal, the machine slows down. And when the machine's slowing down, the machine is regenerating that energy and topping the battery charge back up, all helping preserve the, the battery charge and give the customer a longer working day. There's, there's no longer the need to rev an engine to get hydraulic flow. Hydraulic flow is simply controlled by joystick position. As you pull the, as you pull the joystick back to lift or push forward to lower, the signal from the joystick tells the hydraulic drive motor to turn the pump and that provides flow to the hydraulic cylinders at the rate the, the customer is demanding. So as we come around here, Richard, this is where the hydraulics happens, isn't it? So tell us a little bit about what's in here. So all the hydraulic components are un under the panels here. It starts with the 22 kilowatt hydraulic motor. That drives an internal hydraulic gear pump We've chosen an internal hydraulic gear pump because it's quieter and more efficient than an external. We want the machine to be as efficient as possible. And now this is an electric machine and you've not got a diesel engine. We want the machine to be as quiet as possible as well because that's another real advantage. It's quiet, so for in urban areas, you've not got the same amount of noise pollution. The hydraulic pump is connected to the valve block um, the standard valve block, typical across all of our 525 machines, the valve block obviously distributes the flow to the cylinders on, on, on demand from the joystick. One of the things uh, that JCB has done very well, Richard, and, and, and I you know, applaud JCB for that, is it's always been using the CESAR certificate system so that when somebody tries to steal a unit, that, that can be... Uh, got back into their hands later on but this little emissions sticker here relates to the fact that this is a zero emissions at point of use machine now we've got the plug in here we've got this zero emissions let's talk percentages for a minute because the way in which this product works obviously it's only doing things when you need it to doing things yeah. so you can do different power options do different cycles Tell me about the percentages and how they so all work. So we've, we, we've, we've benchmarked the competition and you know, we're always looking at competitive products. And what, what we can say on th this particular product is that we've got 14% more available battery capacity than the competition. We've got on a defined duty cycle, a like-for-like -like duty cycle, we've got a 29% longer run time. In terms of the vehicle's top speed, we're 25% faster. In terms of lift, the lift cycle is 38% faster and the lower cycle is 49% faster, which all means that the customer can be more efficient and work for longer or get the job done faster, if that's important. So the percentage is there, you can work them out yourself, folks, but this is all about electric, one of my favourite subjects, uh, against hydrogen, of course, which we've seen JCB launch pretty recently as well. But Richard, what this is about is about using data, information about using a proven undercarriage and a proven machine, um, but electrifying that, taking out the waste, taking all out the, the emissions and therefore delivering it to sites, whether they be waste sites, in emission zones, or wherever they are, wherever people need to have a quiet machine, it's ready and ready to go, isn't it? Absolutely, and you know, be under no illusion, the machine is as capable, strong and durable as the diesel equivalent, but zero emissions at the point of use.